Verse 4 says, we will tell the next generation that praise for the deeds of the Lord, his power, and the wonders he has done. God, that God makes the impossible possible. That's right. Miracles have not ceased. Amen. These spiritual stones that we have in our own lives. I want you to think back when God performed a miracle for you or, or God healed your body or God met your need or, or God saved your soul. How many think that the new birth is the yes. greatest miracle yes. of all? Yes. Amen. And those miracles help to increase not only our faith but the faith of others. These stones mean this. God parted the Jordan for me and God can part the Jordan for you. Amen. He made a way for me and He can make a yes. way for you. Come on. Even when there seems to be no way. Amen. Anybody believes still in Sharp Chapel tonight that God still performs miracles. Amen. 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 He can do it. Come on. He can pour every troubled water in your life. Amen. Yes. Yes. Praise God. God still performs miracles. Yes, He does. I shared with you last night. And I was going to just tell the story, testimony, a miracle that happened in our life, mine and Sherry's, when we were actually attending church here. We lived just uh, a little ways down the road here, in Brother Paul taught his mother's house, and uh, we really enjoyed our time that God allowed us season. We were here and uh, got to be with you, precious folks. <coughs> but I was preaching and and. As far as ministry goes, everything was going well. We were seeing, you know, results. But I got, got to where I was preaching, but Sean, and I saw everybody getting touched, but I wasn't getting touched. Yeah. I was preaching my heart out and, and seeing God do some great things, but I did, couldn't feel the touch of God like I felt the touch of God. And, and I just, Lord said, Lord, are you still with me? You've got to let me know something. Am I still in your wheel? Yeah. Anybody besides me ever come on. there? Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. have to question and say, God, I, I, I just need to feel that assurance. I, yes. Lord, I see everybody else getting blessed. I want to be. I want to get touched. Come on. Man, I want to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. Yes. And I'll never forget, I was standing right here, and I think it was on a Sunday night, and I just, Sherry came up, and her and I came up, and we, we just wanted prayer. My prayer was simply, God, just reassure me that I'm in your wheel. Reassure me, God, that if you still want me to preach this gospel, amen, and I'm where I'm supposed to be. And um, I had my hands lifted up toward heaven, and Sherry had her hands raised toward heaven as we began to pray. I had my eyes closed, and I felt a hand grab my arm like this and hold it up in the air. And I felt another hand grab my arm, other arm, and hold it up in the air. Without knowing, I didn't know this until after we, we had went and sat down, but Sherry fell a palm on, on her palm. I opened my eyes. I thought it was Brother George Odell, the pastor, standing in front of me. And I remember Brother Jack Edwards, a different one from the church, was around me. Because I remember something Brother Edwards said. But I opened my eyes and looked, and there was not anybody standing in front of me. Come on. Not a single person. But I felt the hands of somebody holding my arms up. My arms that had gotten heavy. My arms that were burdened, amen. How many of you sometimes we just need somebody like Aaron and her lift y'all? Come on, like, amen. We need somebody that, uh, that they would just encourage in the Lord. Yes. Amen. And the Lord spoke to me, Joshua 1 and verse 9. And said, Have not I commanded you be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you. Amen. 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 Wherever yes. Yes. Wherever you go. Yes. And God assured me from that moment till today. And as I look back, that was back when I was about 19 years of age. But He's never let me one time. Amen. Amen. Times that you know the devil's tried to convince me <laughs> that, that that God's not with me or I'm not in His will. You know what I do? I point back to this memorial. Where I stood right yes. there. Come on. Where I heard from God. Yeah. Amen. God told me as a 19 year old kid yeah. that he was with me, that his anointing was upon yeah. me. Come on. That God that called me was going to take care of me Amen. and my family. Right. And let me tell you, from that moment forward, God began to begin to launch in our ministry yeah. and, and really begin to send us forward. I'm thankful tonight that I can look back and I think about different experiences that we've had and, and, and things that God has done in my home church and host chapel, this church here and different places. And just what I want you to do for just a moment tonight, I want you to think back in your own life where God gave your breakthrough. Yeah. Think of that time when you heard from God. Think about that time 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. When God called us to Grenada the weekend before, or the, the Friday before we went to preach, I told my wife we were leaving camp meeting. And I told Sherry, I said, you know, it'd be great if God would just, I, I feel this is what God wants us to do, and he's called us to this church. But I said, wouldn't it be wonderful if God would just write it in it? Up in the sky somewhere. <laughs> Amen. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Come we on. had to walk by faith if God did stuff like Come that. Come on. It's a faith walk, though. <laughs> I no more than said that. Then I looked up. And it was overpass. And it said, Grenada, 55 North. <laughs> and that's not really what struck me. What struck me was what was underneath that in bold black letters that were spray painted was these words, the way we should go. You know what? I don't know who spray painted that, but if God had to use a couple of guys that were drunk, <laughs> one of them holding another one upside down while he spray painted it. Amen. Whatever God has to do to get to you, He can use a drunk. Or last night as I preach, He can use a widow. Come on. He can use a raven. Whatever method God chooses. I want you to know He'll provide, He'll answer, and He will make the way. Amen. He will take care of you. Yes, He will. Amen. Amen. Come on. So that Saturday, you know what I did before I went and preached to you precious folks that Sunday? That Saturday, I pulled up in the parking lot, and I did what Joshua, what God told Joshua in Joshua chapter 1, in verse number number 4, or number 3, he said, every place that the sole of your feet will tread upon, I have given you, yes. as I said to Moses. I know a man at Luke Fuller Trevor might have been driving around or whoever saw me, but I just felt the Lord tell me, Buckshot, to go up there and just begin to walk around that property yeah. and walk on that parking lot and yeah. say, God, if this is your will, you told me every place the sole of my feet will walk yeah. upon, you will give me. That was back in 2011. I'm still the pastor today, and I'm thankful God has allowed me to be with these Amen. folks in Grenada, Mississippi. And I believe God's got a great work that for us to do for the kingdom of God, and our greatest days are ahead. I just want to encourage somebody. God knows right where you are, yes. and he will, he will be faithful to his word. Don't forget the stones. Don't realize what these stones mean, that your God is faithful, yes. that he is with you. Come on. He's still a miracle worker. He'll part the waters yeah. in your life. Come He'll on. Make the way through the wilderness. Yes, come on. He is your God. He is all sufficient. And he will Amen. take care of you. Amen. Amen.